Welcome to the sixth video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler. This video will cover stamps, how to use them, and how to make your own. The stamps live next to the primitives as a shape option for the clay tool and erase tool. Stamps can be any shape, and Modeler comes with three collections of stamps installed that you can play with. Selecting one will update the tool preview with it. These are based on meshes rather than the math of the primitives. So they don't have the same parameters or non-uniform controls that the primitives have. However, you still have access to settings like single or steady. You can make your own stamps one of two ways. First is making a stamp from a layer. Simply select the layer, open the actions menu, and select the stamp icon. The new stamp will be added to your home folder within your stamp collection. It can then be used with any of the tools that use stamps. You can delete a stamp that you've added by clicking it again, turning it into a delete option. Moving your mouse away will change it back. They work the same in VR as they do on the desktop. You can also make a stamp from a layer that you're currently editing, since anytime you're editing, it's on a selected layer. The stamp shows up here and can be selected the same as any other option. Also in VR, the stamp preview can be viewed in 3D. On the desktop, you'll see a little plus icon in the stamp section. This will start a new collection and allow you to pick a mesh to add as a stamp. When a collection is open, you can add to it by hitting the same plus icon from inside. Modeler currently supports importing OBJ, FPX, USD, and GLTF. Stamps are stored in the stamps folder in your Modeler directory. Imported stamps need to be added through the app though. Modeler won't recognize them if you just start adding them to the Windows folder layout. Imported stamps work just the same as the installed ones, but you can only import them via the desktop for now. Important to note that any imported stamp will have its scale normalized, so if the mesh is incredibly large, it will import at a normalized scale. If you wanted to kit bash using a collection of stamps, now's your time to add your own collection. That will wrap up part 6 in this series on using Modeler. Next up, in part 7, we'll be going over symmetry and repetition settings.